Ever wondered what your cat is trying to tell you? Welcome to the fascinating world of cat body language, where every twitch of the tail and flick of the ear tells a tale. Unlike us humans, who rely heavily on verbal communication, cats use their bodies to express a wide range of emotions, intentions, and even health conditions. Understanding your cat's body language is not just about satisfying our curiosity, it's about building a stronger bond with our feline friends. By decoding their silent messages, we can respond to their needs more accurately, respect their boundaries, and even prevent potential conflicts. Remember, every cat is unique, and so is their language. But with a little patience and observation, you can learn to interpret the subtle signs that your cat is giving you. So, are you ready to become a cat language expert? Let's dive in. A first up, let's focus on the tail, the most expressive part of a cat. This slender extension of their spine is so much more than just a balancing tool. It's a cat's emotional barometer, revealing their feelings in ways that words never could. Imagine your cat's tail as a flag that they wave to communicate their feelings. When it's raised high, it's like they're waving a flag of happiness and confidence. They're content, secure, and feeling on top of the world. This high-raised tail is also a friendly greeting, a way for your cat to say, hey, I'm glad to see you. But what about when their tail is lowered? A tail that's down or tucked between their legs is a sign of fear or submission. Your cat is feeling threatened and is trying to make themselves seem smaller, less noticeable. It's their way of saying, I'm not a threat, please don't hurt me. Now let's talk about the puffed up tail. This is one of the most dramatic tail signals, and it's a clear indication of fear or aggression. Your cat is trying to appear larger and more intimidating, hoping to scare off whatever is causing them distress. If you see a puffed up tail, it's best to give your cat some space until they calm down. Sometimes you might notice your cat's tail twitching or swishing back and forth. This is a sign of focus and excitement. They might be preparing to pounce on a toy or reacting to something they've spotted out the window. But be warned, a wildly lashing tail can also indicate irritation. If your cat's tail is whipping around like a flag in a storm, it's a good idea to back off and let them cool down. And finally, a slow, languid tail movement often signifies relaxation and contentment. Your cat is feeling good, and there's no immediate threat on their radar. So next time you see your cat's tail twitching, you'll know what they're trying to say. Now, let's take a look into your cat's eyes, the windows to their soul. When it comes to understanding your feline friend, their eyes hold a universe of emotions, and knowing how to read them can make a world of difference. Cats have a unique way of communicating through their eyes. You may have noticed that your cat's pupils change size. Ever wondered why? Well, dilated pupils can indicate a variety of emotions. When your cat is in a playful mood or excited, their pupils can become larger. But beware, the same dilated pupils can also signal fear or anxiety. It's a delicate balance to strike, and understanding the context is key. On the other hand, when a cat's pupils are constricted, it could mean they are feeling tense or possibly aggressive. It's important to observe their overall body language to get a clear picture of what they're trying to tell you. Now let's talk about the slow blink. Yes, you've probably seen it, that languid blink that seems to last an eternity. Believe it or not, this is a cat's way of blowing you a kiss. It's a sign of trust and affection. When your cat looks at you and blinks slowly, they're saying, I trust you, I'm comfortable with you. You can reciprocate this loving gesture by slow blinking back at them. But what about direct eye contact? While in human interaction, maintaining eye contact is a sign of attentiveness. For cats, prolonged eye contact can be perceived as a threat. However, once you've established trust with your feline companion, maintaining gentle eye contact can help strengthen your bond. Remember, each cat is unique. It might take some time to understand your cat's eye language. Be patient, observe, and soon, you'll be having silent conversations with your furry friend. Remember, maintaining eye contact with your cat can strengthen your bond with them. So keep your eyes open and let the silent conversations begin. Did you know your cat's ears and whiskers are also powerful communication tools? Indeed, these seemingly insignificant parts of your feline friend's anatomy can reveal a whole lot about what they're thinking or feeling at any given moment. Let's start with the ears. A cat's ears are incredibly expressive, akin to our facial expressions. When a cat's ears are pointed forward, this usually indicates that they're alert or curious about something. They're tuned into their environment, ready to interact or engage. On the other hand, if their ears are pulled back or laid flat against their head, this is a clear sign they're experiencing fear or aggression. It's a defensive posture, signaling that they're not in the mood for interaction. 
Now let's move on to the whiskers. These are more than just cute adornments on your cat's face. They're highly sensitive tactile hairs that provide your cat with valuable information about their surroundings. When a cat's whiskers are relaxed and sticking out sideways, it means they're calm and content. However, if the whiskers are pushed forward, it means your cat is excited or preparing for a hunt. It's their way of focusing their senses on their prey. Conversely, if the whiskers are pulled back against the face, it's a sign of fear or aggression, similar to the ears. So it's clear that a cat's ears and whiskers are not just for show. They're integral to their communication and can provide us with vital clues about their mood and intentions. By understanding these subtle signals, we can better interact with our feline companions, ensuring we respect their boundaries and respond appropriately to their feelings. Remember, every cat is unique and might display these signals slightly differently. So it's important to spend time observing your own cat to understand their personal body language. So, keep an eye on those whiskers and ears, they have a lot to say. Last but not least, let's talk about overall body postures. Cats are like artists, using their bodies to paint vivid pictures of their feelings and intentions. Every arch, stretch, and curl carries a message, if we're willing to interpret it. Let's start with the classic Halloween cat posture, an arched back with fur standing on end. No, your cat hasn't suddenly decided to audition for a horror movie. This posture is a clear sign that your feline friend is feeling threatened. It's their way of making themselves look larger and more intimidating in the face of perceived danger. If you see your cat adopting this posture, it's best to give them some space until they feel safe again. On the flip side, a cat that's relaxed and comfortable might stretch out on its side or even roll onto its back, exposing its belly. Now, if you're thinking this is an open invitation to give that belly a rub, hold on just a moment. In the feline world, the belly is a vulnerable area. By exposing it, your cat is showing a high level of trust and comfort. While some cats do enjoy a good belly rub, others might see it as a betrayal of that trust. So, it's always a good idea to proceed with caution. A cat sitting with its paws tucked under its body, often referred to as the loaf position, is generally content and feeling secure in its environment. This posture allows them to conserve body heat and stay alert for any sudden events. If your cat is loafing around, it means they're feeling pretty good about life. Understanding these body postures can help you respond better to your cat's needs. So, the next time you see your cat striking a pose, take a moment to appreciate the artistry. And remember, they're trying to tell you something. Listen with your eyes, and you'll find you can communicate more effectively with your feline friend. There you have it. A quick guide to decoding your cat's body language. We've journeyed through the world of feline communication, from the subtle swish of the tail to the expressive flick of the ears. We've delved into the mystery of their eyes and discovered that a cat's posture can speak volumes. Remember, understanding your cat's body language is not just about identifying individual signals. It's about observing the whole cat in context and appreciating the unique way your cat communicates. It's about learning to recognize when your cat is relaxed, when they're alert, and when they're just being playful. It's about building a bond of mutual understanding and respect. So, don't rush it. Take your time, observe, and let your cat teach you their language. After all, each cat is a unique individual, with their own special way of expressing themselves. Remember, every cat is unique, so, take your time, observe, and soon you'll be fluent in cat language. Thanks for watching.